kids or anyone who plays any type of sport always dreams of, you know, getting the, getting the winning hit or getting um, the winning play to win an important ball game or anything of that sort. And so. To, on, to do that at such a prestigious school, UCLA, my, one of my dream colleges, or my dream college, and it was, it was an honor. And it was something that I might have not known that would have happened to me, but I knew it had happened to one of my teammates, and for it to happen to me was like a dream come true. And it was loud, and it was fun, and it was... We had to fight for every win, every point, um, and we were really close as a team. So I think when we got there and actually won it, we knew that we won it because we had dedicated and ourselves to... Be uh, the national champions and, and men's soccer, you know, it's a tremendous feeling. I, mean, I was overwhelmed with so many emotions, all my teammates like flooded on to me. Myself, and well, here it is. Just go as hard as you can at the door, and maybe something good will happen. That is probably my most memorable moment. Welcome to the NCAA Women's Softball Super Regionals presented by Capital One. The Bruins and the Wildcats trying to make history here in this Super Regional. For the atmosphere, it was electric. It was, the fans were crazy. We were ecstatic to be there. Freshmen through seniors have never gone to a Super Regional game. So we were, yes, we were nervous, but we were also very excited. In a scoreless game, big moment for the sophomore pitcher from Kentucky. Oh, and dropped! Emily Gaines drops it. And two runs come in to score on what looks like should be an easy play to right field. Having those two runs and scoring first in the Super Re game one of Super Regionals was very comforting. And Kentucky, they battled and they came right back. Full count. Whoa, over the wall, possibly gone. Is it fair? It is! The grand slam for the catcher. That feeling of them jumping ahead and them getting excited at home play, I mean, it's something that we don't want to see, but it's just like adds fuel to the fire. We want, we wanted, we knew that two runs necessarily was not going to be enough against this Kentucky team. We just gathered ourselves, took a deep breath. Allie was completely, she was composed. She didn't let it phase her up on the mound. And we just got right back to our routine and we settled in. Looking. Joiner! No Kelsey Nunley lights out. Questionable. UCLA trailing Kentucky by two in the bottom of the sixth. Kelsey. So, as there was a runner on second and third, as I was waiting on deck, and player of the year finalist Ali Carta steps up to the plate, and I see that they intentionally are starting to intentionally walk her to get to the on deck batter, the freshman. Um, you know, who doesn't have the experience of college softball. The first thing that I hear is Coach I, and she said, this is exactly what you signed up for. She brought in two runs after that hard hit to right field that was mishandled. As I hit it, it was just immediate excitement because I knew that I got all of it, and I knew that my team, I, we went ahead six to four in game one of the Super Regionals. And the one-shot mentality for Spalding. She is responsible for all of the runs in this game. It's quite an accomplishment, and to do it as a freshman, I mean, obviously that is more of an accomplishment as well, but. It's something that we all really strive for. We had like a, a motto that we use like softball six to, and it's called uh, mission first, team always. And um, we always we just find a way to get the job done, and having in the back of our mind that we do it for the team. And it was definitely all worth it. It's over. Carta with her eighth strikeout ends the game, and the Bruins survive. And that's probably my most memorable moment at UCLA.